hello you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is melissa and today we're in a different location not really we're still in my apartment but i wanted to just film somewhere different because i didn't want to be in my room for this video i just wanted it to be more casual because that's more my style so we're here in the living room i feel like we need a little something like behind this chair i feel like we need like a tree or something so maybe we'll add something like that because it just looks kind of plain right now today i wanted to share my favorite like must have summer essentials with you guys and i know that summer's ending we're at the very end of it however a lot of these summer essentials are just such big favorites of mine that they can still be transitioned into fall so keep that in mind a lot of these things are still things that i'm going to be using in the fall these are just products that i was loving the entire summer that i'm so obsessed with that i know you guys will also love also, if you have any questions about my hair, I just uploaded a video all about my hair transformation. I went from blonde to brunette, so I will link that here as well. We'll get started with makeup first. One product that I found myself using so much, and I'm really surprised, is my Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. This is the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation, which now that I think about it, I remember I was really obsessed with their Matte Velvet Skin Liquid Foundation. So it's so funny that I, I, I just put that together right now. Um, but yeah, I love this powder foundation because it gives you an insane amount of coverage Even the little sponge that it comes with is amazing I always apply with this sponge when I went on vacation This was the only foundation like this was the only coverage that I used other than concealer I'll link my little IGTV video where I did my makeup with this because that's what I did pretty much every single day on vacation It was super easy for everyday use when you're running errands when you just want to do your makeup in like 10 minutes This is so perfect. I love this foundation so much. I have it in the shade Y365, which is my more tan shade. Another little palette that I found myself using pretty much the entire summer is my little mini Natasha Denona mini sunset palette. Her eyeshadows, you guys, are pretty amazing. Her larger palettes are really expensive. They're like over $100. That's why I, I never purchased it because I just... I couldn't see myself purchasing a hundred something dollar palette. I mean, I wouldn't put it past me. I probably will because I love makeup so much. But I don't know. I just never picked up the larger palette. I had never tried it. And finally, when she launched the little minis, I was like, well, this is a perfect time to try it. I think they're like $20 or $25 at Sephora. Um, and I finally tried her eyeshadows. And you guys, they're pretty amazing. I love the quality of her eyeshadows. All right, I have a couple of products. These are like my main babies that I love so much. I'll start with the lip balm. This is my Mario Badescu lip balm in rose. I'm obsessed with it so much. I have one in my bag. I have one here in the house. I have one in my car. I'm obsessed with this lip balm. It's my absolute favorite. I'm a lip balm junkie. I just, I'm really picky about them. They have to be the right texture and they have to feel just right. And I just love this one so much. You guys, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. I love the Mario Badescu line, period. And I'm so glad that they now have lip balms. By the way, I will be linking everything down below, so don't you worry if you didn't catch a name correctly. I know sometimes I just don't pronounce things right. I will link everything for you. Now for lip liners. I, there's one that I don't have on me, it's, but it's the Morphe Sugar Pie Lip Liner. That's one of my favorites. I'll link it below for you. And then I love, love, love my charlotte tilbury iconic nude i wear this under every single lip gloss lipstick combo ever i just love it so much it is the perfect nude for my skin tone i feel like again the shade is iconic nude and then i always like to use a little bit of a darker lip liner on top of that which is usually the morphe sugar pie or this one which is the kkw beauty nude too but i do want to try the nude 1.5 Let's take something a little bit lighter but i have to say i really love the morphe lip liners the morphe lip liners are like three dollars something crazy like that and they're really amazing but the charlotte tilbury one iconic nude that's my splurge lip liner i just love it so much you guys i've repurchased it like three times now i think the iconic nude was the first product i ever tried from charlotte tilbury and then i was like well i have to try the lipsticks also and i have to say these are one of my favorite lipsticks in the entire world so the one that i have on right now is penelope pink which is this one i also have another favorite called nude kate which the packaging looks just like this and even if i <laughs> held them up they'd probably Probably look pretty similar but so I'll link both of them for you guys but those are my two favorites but currently I cannot put down Penelope pink which is what I have on and I think I wore it the entire summer 
on top of my lipstick combos, I usually like to put a little bit of a gloss. And I have to tell you guys, I love this one by Patrick Ta. This is the one called She's Expensive. I think he came out with three different ones and I just love them so much. I put on a little to show you guys. I feel like, I don't know, you might not even like see it perfectly. It's not too heavy. It's like the perfect lip topper. You can wear it alone, obviously, but I love putting it on top of like my nude lip combos. Wait, I almost forgot to share one of my favorite primers. This is by Milk Makeup. It is the Hydro Grip Primer. And oh my God, you guys, this primer is amazing. It's one of my absolute favorites. I have it in a little travel size also. So I picked up the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil when I went to LA a couple months ago. And I have not been able to put it down. I keep it in this box because I feel like it's just a lot cleaner this way. The crazy thing about it is that when you first apply it, and like you blend it into your skin, you're like, oh, okay, it's nice as a really light shimmer. But after a few minutes, it just kicks up the shimmer like really intensely. And you're left with the most beautiful gold glimmering skin. Every time I wear this, people notice like I, whenever I wear like on my chest or my arms or my legs, people are always asking me like, what do you have on your body? And it is the Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil. Like I'm shook at how amazing this formula is. And I'm, I'm a body shimmer whore. Like I love body shimmers. <laughs> like I buy every single new body shimmer that comes out and I really, really love this one i definitely have to do an updated whole skincare routine but i'll share two of my favorite products at the moment so far they're both by murad i have been using the murad hydrating toner and what i like specifically about this toner is that it's in a spray form so i don't have to run and get like a cotton ball or anything like that because i just literally spray this onto my skin i do this every day and every night and then I love their sunscreen so much. This is the Oil and Pore Control Mattifying Sunscreen and it has SPF 45. I put this on my face every single day, even when I'm just running to the gym where I clearly, I don't wear any makeup to the gym, but I cannot leave the house with a bare face. I always need something on it. And also my skin is going to be exposed to the sun, even if you're just walking to your car. But then when you're driving also, like the sun hits you as well. So I always put this on every single day and I always put it on after my skincare as well and for hair i just mainly wanted to share because i've shared so many of my favorite products that i was using over the summer for my hair but my hair was blonde over the summer so those products are going to change i will link um the video where i talk about what my favorite products for that i was using in the summer were because it was a lot so we'll just link that in a separate video for you i mean i'll link it down below for you guys but for the summer this is probably my most used tool i always use this snoomy wand and i forget what size it is exactly but i will link it for you guys they sell it i ordered it from amazon and then something else that i love for my hair are these hair ties what are they the hair coils hair ties i don't know but this is what i use all the time it's like these coiled hair ties they sell them everywhere like almost every single store probably on amazon i'm sure as well every time i go to a store where i see a pack of these i usually buy it this a little pack in particular was from Riley Rose. These are really great because they don't leave any indentations in your hair. So if you're ever going to tie your hair but you don't want to ruin it, these are really great for that. I always wear these to the gym um, so that I don't get like that weird crease mark and I, I really love it. For fashion, um, I love that I'm saying like this is for fashion and it's probably like the most basic thing ever. <laughs> um, there are so many things I love this summer for fashion, but the only thing I really want to mention are my t-shirt dresses because you guys, I found t-shirt dresses for only $5 at Walmart. Technically, they're men's t-shirts, but the size large fit like a t-shirt dress for me, like a really loose t-shirt dress i'll insert some photos here for you guys so that you can get a better idea of how they look because if i hold it up for you here it's just gonna look like a big frumpy t-shirt but i'll insert photos of me wearing it so that you can actually see how it looks i ended up getting so many different colors i'll probably get more because i literally could wear a t-shirt dress all year round like i will make it work and then under my t-shirt dresses i wear little biker shorts these are from amazon they're they come in a pack of three and a lot of people ask me if they're sheer yes they are very sheer however i don't really care because when you wear a t-shirt dress your butt's covered anyways so i don't really care about the sheerness what i like about these in particular is how 
like lightweight they feel they're super thin and lightweight so they're really comfortable but if sheerness is something that you're concerned about then you won't like these but these are the ones that i always wear underneath my t-shirt dresses and i get them in a size small another item that i loved all summer long and i still love are my ray-ban round sunnies of course i don't have them on me i left them in my car and it is pouring outside you guys so i cannot run to my car and get them but again i'll insert a photo for you guys of how they look um and i'll also link them for you they're amazing they're like a classic style just like a perfect classic little style of sunglasses and i feel like they're pretty timeless and then the last thing i want to share with you guys for my summer essentials are my jewelry i actually have my own jewelry line and i absolutely have been obsessed with these three pieces that i'm going to show you guys i wore them all summer long the first one is my little evil eye necklace this is like I gotta get close so you guys could see it. It's like a super dainty little baby Evo Eye necklace that I feel like sometimes you can't even see depending on what you wear. But I love how tiny and dainty it is. That's my favorite thing about it. And then these earrings are my vintage gold digger hoops. Absolutely obsessed with these. And then this is my stacked ring. I actually have two of them on. But just to show you guys what just one looks like. You can wear them like in different fingers. I love how it looks literally stacked just like how i named it um so that was it for my summer essentials i hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see a lot of the products are products that you can definitely transition into the fall so don't forget to check the description box if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet and you like my energy you like my vibe then go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love that max max would love that too that is it you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video bye